Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Welcome to today's oop and our oop. I'm basically just going to take you guys along with me for a couple of days because for the first time in ages, I finally got planned to be seeing friends and going out again, obviously safely due to coronavirus. Currently speaking, I'm actually in a bit of a rush. I'm just about to head out to go for a lunch with my cousin, which will be very nice because I literally haven't seen her for the whole of lockdown. So yeah, I just thought I'd quickly intro the vlog here. I'll catch you guys at the restaurant. I am now at the Ivy Asia and with my cousin Deo. I've been on YouTube for no, ages. I don't know. Where. Like over a year for sure. Yeah, we're at the Ivy Asia. It's so nice. I've never been to this one before, but I love the vibe. Deo's food has arrived. I'm just waiting for my sushi as my starter. Oh, speaking of which. <laughs> How cute these bathrooms are, we're just leaving. But yeah, Deo's actually gonna be spending the evening, so I'll vlog when we're back at my later. Everybody. So we are now off to somewhere in Battersea. This is correct. <laughs> and she's taking me round, you know, just the whole embassy gardens. You know, we're going for a nice cocktails, maybe wine. So Dave and I have come to this place called Vagabond and it's basically like self-service wine. Like it's so cool, you literally just like fill up your card with money and then you get your glass and then literally like wine comes out, it's so cool. Today. I'm about to do a tester. Red wine. Think link. Okay, so you guys seem to enjoy the tutorial stuff that I'm putting into videos. Three parts Prosecco. I'm definitely pouring this wrong. You basically get a cushion, then take your two hands and do that, and then chop it in the middle. So here's wine tasting with Zerim. Sniff. Okay, then like you stir, and then sip again, and then sip. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is now the next day. I've just spent this morning editing the bits of footage from yesterday and just kind of like running some errands. But yeah, I've just gotten ready because V is actually coming over for the first time, which should be nice because she spent the summer in London. We literally live like five minutes from each other. So I've been to hers, but she hasn't come to mine yet. So she's just about to head in. But um, yesterday was so much fun. I feel like a lot of alcohol was consumed though. So today we're just taking it back a little bit and I'm gonna have V over for some tea and cakes. Hello. Oh girl, I'm in reception now. Okay, perfect. So, so um, say you're here. No, I, I promise. Like, and even, even it's, it's it was it's a been a weird. It's, these past. Hello, can I let her stand up? Yes, thank you. Look up. Look up. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. So when you get the hotel, you make them do this whole. Yeah. Thing. Get about it. So V's indoors now. Get into Darren's place. It's like a maze. It's, it's, it's like a competition. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just having a cake. I anticipated a little bit of a tea party, but V's got Diet Coke. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Tea party with no tea. Tea. <laughs> so we're just going to catch up and enjoy yeah. some food. Amen. Amen. Later. I can just find my little jet. So. Dance with me, no jet. Okay, so V has now left and I basically have like two hours of freedom before I'm seeing Monet. She's just going to come over and we're going to recreate one of our iconic wine and cheese nights that we've done. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly turn on my camera to share what I'm currently watching on Netflix. Because high key, this is like the most entertaining show ever. It's The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Let me know in the comments down below if you've watched it or if you watch any of the other Real Housewives series, let me know which one you are watching. Watching because after I'm done with this, I definitely want to watch some more. It's so entertaining. But yeah, I'm on season two, which is like the series with the iconic, like, meme. You guys know the one I'm talking about. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna sit here, have some more of my tea. This is the Pukaline Matcha tea. 
very nice which my friend Monet got me and yeah I'm just gonna chill here before she comes over but yeah when I'm prepping for our little evening tonight I will pick up my camera and show you guys who I'm joined by it's Monet so yeah we're basically recreating one of our iconic wine nights Monet talked them through it so basically cheese on wine night is cheese boards yeah grapes yeah olives yeah wine. boom wine Sourdough Cheese. bread with the olives. Sourdough bread with the olives, guys. If you live near a waitrose, or even if you don't, go to a waitrose. Get this, get some cheese. Mm -hmm. We have a camembert going on, and then outside we have the olives there. We've got a little candle dinner going on. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So on today's menu, we have a classic Pinot Noir. This is my favorite wine to have with cheese. So we're just gonna do a little taste test, as you guys saw from yesterday. If you guys have a glass of wine right now, then let's do this together. So we need to firstly sniff, give it a little swab, and delicious. Today, oh that siren. Today is Tuesday and I believe, I believe this is actually gonna be the final day of the vlog because I'm planning to upload it on Wednesday. I'm trying to be a consistent queenie. Two uploads a week. You know the vibes. Currently speaking, it is six o'clock. I've just spent my day organizing more stuff for my room at home because the move out in this flat is pending. It's literally like a week and a half now, it's crazy. That six months in this place has gone by so quickly. Yeah, I've just spent the morning sorting out home stuff and then I'm now preparing for my friend Tara to come over because she has actually never visited this place. Yeah I'm just kind of getting the flat together, changing the water in my flowers um, and then I did some tidying up earlier. Would you look at that? We have a bottle of rosé that we're gonna get through but ultimately every time we're with Tara we tend to be spontaneous so just stay tuned to see what we get up to tonight. Guys look who it is. She hasn't been in a vlog since before lockdown but we just had like a lovely evening, had some rosé. Shout out to Tara's mum. Wine queen. Wine queen. She's like the wine connoisseur and we've just had this lovely wine. So we've decided to go to the classic Megan's. I swear I've been here like three times a week. Tara's first time. She's having a drink and some food and then we're gonna call it a night. Wait guys, this night has taken such a turn. Tara's just been asked to take care of this dog whilst the owner's in the bathroom. Oh my God, there, <laughs> sit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get up. Wait, Beth? <laughs> and he's really big. He's bigger than me. I think he's bigger than me. Okay guys, so I've just finished editing the vlog and I've realised that I never filmed an outro so I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a bit more of my personality and the kind of things I get up to, meeting my friends, all of that stuff. If you did, I'd love if you could let me know by leaving a comment down below as well as hitting the thumbs up button. If you're a new viewer today and you haven't already subscribed, Rude. If you're a new viewer today and you haven't already subscribed to my channel then definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as follow me on Instagram. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much once again for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Oh, I'm still recording. And then for our wine, that's a good... Oh my god, I'm looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> yeah.